Welcome to NGS, where we dive into my hobbies, such as playing cards. Don't don't look at that. Today I have a bicycle deck, one that it involves dragons. I'm sure you're a fan of dragons. Who does not like dragons? If you don't like dragons, you're wrong. Any dragon, from Japanese dragons to Greek dragons, all the way to Viking dragons, and and I I'm sure there are dragons in all cultures. But yeah, nothing says fierce and scary and uh fantasy like dragons so bicycle made a dragon deck there were actually quite a bit of variants of this deck and right now i only have this one but after learning that there are other variants i will eventually do a showcase of all of them i thought maybe i can you know save up and put them into one video but i'm doing that currently with a lot of other decks that i'm just trying to hoard so i can do a big showcase of all the variants and i decided i'm not going to do that with the dragon especially if they keep releasing different colors that being said i need to clean my mat i got a new lint roller which i desperately needed oh, i did what i could anyway here we go let's go ahead and dive right into this we have the bicycle font for the bicycle on the top here as you would expect with bicycle on the bottom we have dragon written we got playing cards and cartes uh and then we have this vine work going on on the bottom left and bottom right and it is all written in silver not like a metallic silver just normal silver and then it's on a glossy material so it's glossy and anyway on the back here we oh you, you thought i was gonna go without talking about the center here huh no I, I would never on the center here we have two dragons that are back to back back to back i like that record i'm gonna get back to that for the record but yeah two dragons back to back with the noses and you know the antennas that come or mustache whatever you want to call it coming from the nose uh long luxurious luscious hair i I, did I say that right? And then the scales that you see of the dragon, they're the long boy versions. I don't know which culture that's from, but yeah, they're the long snake-like dragons, I'm pretty sure. And then we have like this vine going around it with this giant spade shadow in the background that is behind both dragons, which they kind of make a spade, you know, with their movements and with their pose. On the side here we have air cushion finish made in USA with this background vine work lines shapes going on in a more lighter blue which uh, if you couldn't tell the case actually is not black but blue. And then on this side we have air cushion finish again and fabrique o eu. In the bottom here we have the barcode and the recycling uh, emblem and on the top here we have nothing. This does have a seal the basic generic bicycle seal and like a lot of the cards that I noticed that have French on them, has the copyright down here interrupting the aesthetic of the background, which is the back of the playing cards. So let's crack into these bad boys and look at the tab here, which has more copyright information, and it is also blue. On the flaps here, we have what they should have done is make this pattern, you know, bleed into the flaps, but they didn't, and that's the case on both sides. The inside is nothing but white, and then we have the deck. And here are the backs of the cards, which like I said is what the back of the tuck case is meant to look like. Or is it the cards that are meant to look like the back of the tuck case? Hmm, what came first, the chicken or the beef sandwich? And on the back we have those same dragons that were back to back, but now they are connected forever, like cat dog style. And of course with the whiskers and luscious hair and then that vine that goes all the way around them in the background and more vine work with a silver to dark silver gradient going on with the color scheme. And in the back it is all blue. It's not black, it's blue. We have here a promo card for bicycle. And yeah, very springy if you couldn't tell. It was just trying to run out of my hand right there. But yeah, these are very thick, very springy. The quality is going to be just what you anticipate from a bicycle deck. Very nice if you can do a fan correctly. That's better. But yeah, they, this deck is feels great. It's a little rough along the edges here, but that seems to be the case with brand new cards. Uh, I've opened this only a few times to, you know, gaze upon it. I have not played with this one. Oh, I gotta do the thing. So let's go ahead and look at the faces of the cards. We have here the Joker cards, which are the exact same minus the colored U and S. We have Joker written here, and it kind of looks like a Rorschach chart. 
with the black ink all in the background and then we have the dragon here and we finally get to see the bottom half of the dragon which is just a tail that kind of hides into the background of the black and the hands also happen to be that same black color don't know if that was intentional or an accident but yeah that looks pretty cool for the ace of spades wouldn't you know it it's the exact same spade we have here on the front of the tuck case except we have this written down here so you know what kind of animal it is a dragon the united states playing card company made in usa and the serial number for this deck and yeah it's the exact same dragon with the same line work and uh, they're back to back, so on and so forth. Kendrick Lamar bit. We have the basic generic bicycle pips, except these ones are a little bit thicker. They seem to be on bold instead of normal or italicized. And the pips are the same as well. The only difference being the Ace of Spades pip right here. Which, as you could imagine, all the cards are the same as you would imagine. Except the court cards which tend to follow a more japanese culture aesthetic which you always come to love we have here a jack with a kabuto instead of the normal hat that he wears i don't know what hat he normally wears what it's called but it ain't a crown because he's a jack he's a prince not a king here's the queen which is also drawn in that um japanese art style she's wearing a kimono here and then we have here a king with a katana it's, that's pretty cool. I like how they made it a katana instead of a sword. And then he has like dragon written here on this little banner. Yeah, and also they take up the color palette of the cards, which is that kind of blue, teal, aqua uh, color that we see here. And it's kind of interesting to see these court cards with actual skin colored skin. I don't know why, but I've seen it so many times in just black and white that this is really jarring to me. It's also shaded correctly like a face. It just makes like the beard weird because of the color just disappears and fades away as it gets to the beard. Weird beard. That's it. Eminem line. All the rap references today. Here are the diamond court cards, which, uh, man, I really love this Japanese armor style that they're going with. Again, he's wearing a kabuto. We have here another queen in a kimono and another king with a, a katana. And I, I, I failed to mention this, but on the background of the frame of the court cards, we have like this little smoke cloud going around, kind of like a smoke from a dragon's breath. That's pretty cool. I, I've never seen a deck do something like that, I don't think, at least from bicycle. And yeah, the kimono, katana. Here we are again with the clubs where he also has a katana. He has this little emblem here, another kimono, and this time she has a Japanese fan and a jack with a kabuto again with a staff with a blade at the end. Here we are at the clubs. And here we are at the uh, sad boy king with a katana as well. The queen here holding a rose. And the Jack and the Kabuto Samurai Armor again with an axe. And here are the rest of them. And a promo card for the Dragon deck. If you want to read this, pause and read. No double backer, no gaff card, you know, yeah. yeah that's, that's the huge with these kind of things. I do think this will probably look better on a white background, but I've already started this because it looks better on the faces with the black background, but it'll probably look better on the back with the white background. So... Um, anyway, that's on me. Let's see what they look like in a black light. And wouldn't you know it, they do not glow. If you don't believe me, there you go. If you thought the dragon glue. But none of them, n none of the colors glow at all. Lame. What about the tuck case I hear you saying? Uh, the tuck case actually glows. The dragons do, which is sad that they don't glow on the cards, but they do on the tuck case. Why can't the cards look like that? What? But yeah, the tuck case does make up for a lot of the lame, non-glowy bits. And that is the Bicycle Dragon deck by Bicycle. Did I say that wrong? And that is the Dragon deck by Bicycle. If you are interested in these, they are available. I will put a link down in the description below. Uh, while you're down there, I also have a link to a giveaway if you are wanting to enter into that giveaway.
And like I said, there are other variants of this deck. I will eventually get to that when I get to that, and uh, hopefully it'll be soon. Anyway, uh, I can't wait to see you right or back in the next video.